All right, what's up guys? Uh, got some parts came in from Sin Cut Sin today. I'm gonna show you those real quick and what the future plans are for the front end of this stupid old car, my 60s shitbox Ford, and uh, we'll go from there. So the lower control arms, I already have, uh, this is an S13 ball joint. So the idea is that's gonna go in there. Uh, these are spacers to get the right thickness to match the distance between this lip here and this lip here where the uh, C-clip goes. So hopefully I did that math right and that will work out. And then in the end, we have a 5 8 time joint that will get welded in there. And that will be a new lower control arm for the Falcon. And worst case scenario, if I need to beat this is quarter inch plate, even though it looks pretty thick. Worst case is I can always add an inch by an eighth inch strips and weld it and do an overhang on the down side possibly. Yeah, on the low side to uh, keep it from flexing. But I think these are going to be strong enough. The factory car ones are like 14 gauge sheet metal bent into a U. So I don't see how these could be any worse. But I'm going to pull them out and we'll take a look. This is just mild steel. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, we're just going to test fit ball joint. Front and then the Heim joint in the back. We'll see what that looks like. All right, a little bit of beating and banging. Uh, got the spacers on the back. So the idea is I'll come in and I'll just weld um, a couple spots to make sure they don't fall out. And then if you look down in there, oh, there we go. Look down in there, you can see the groove where C clip's supposed to go. So hopefully that goes all the way around. That lighting sucks. I need to maybe flip side. Oh, there we go. Look down in there. C clip will go in there. Make sure that doesn't fall out. Kind of got to press it in there, which is good. And then this is just a 5 8 by 18 coupler nut. Um, I had to buy a box of 25 of these, unfortunately, but that's just the way it works. So that will go in there, and that will get MIG welded together. And then I just need to double check the lengths from uh, center of ball joint to center of the mount on the car and figure out what that distance needs to be. I know this is pretty close. I have quite a bit of extension. I can get another probably three quarter inch length out of this if I need to. And then the idea is um, I get all that welded up and then I can test fit. I'm pretty sure I got this bolt pattern pretty close, but if not, I can always massage on it and then figure that out later. But um, yeah, this looks like it's gonna work well. So maybe I'll put some fitment together in the car this weekend. All right, guys. <clears throat> so Saturday, I went ahead and welded the coupler nuts. I'm uh, attempting to submit my own uh, scary suspension post on a Facebook group. So far, so good. Some of my welds look like dog shit, but it's been a while, and I welded all four sides. That side looks a lot better. And this is flux core, which is why it's got all the splatter, um, but it penetrated pretty well. I was still able to run the, uh, the heim joints up and down the threads. Sometimes if you're welding on something with threads inside, the, something gets hosed up and won't long, no longer works, but these rings worked out really well. Um, same deal. Maybe I need to try to chase somebody down that's got a TIG machine that can do steel for me. I have one at work, or work has one at work, that I could probably use, but I wanted to bang this out here at the house. So, unfortunately, I only have one ball joint. I have another one coming. Um, should be here probably middle of the week, but I might go ahead and try to paint these up and then jack the car up and pull a wheel off and then um might try mocking one up and see what that's going to look like so looks good all right so here's a factory lower control arm weighs four pounds ten ounces so like four and three quarter pound 
Um, don't tell the wife I'm doing this on the kitchen table. New and improved. May end up somebody dead, but three pounds, 3.7 ounces, so three and one quarter pounds. So it weighs probably, so what is that? Uh, half a pound less than the factory one. I don't know that it matters much, but there's the, the weight difference. All right, so luckily the male lady showed up about 10 minutes ago. So now I have two complete control arms that are ready to go. One on the right is the old one. And then the two ones on the left, I screwed up on the holes. I had to enlarge two of them uh, for some reason. I'll have to go back and look at the model, figure out what number I put in there. But I, it would, had to make them like 30 thousandths bigger. But uh, I test fitted those and those seem to work. So spindle there, rest of whatever's going on under here. So we'll throw the spindle up on there. I need to go to the store and get a uh, 5 8 to half um, piece of uh, tube, pipe, I don't know what they call it, but that will go there and then I will figure out a way to keep the, the inner heim joint from moving around. But uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, the next little segment you'll see will be something somewhat assembled. Alrighty, real quick. I uh, went to the store, picked up some 5 eighths by half, and then also picked up a, uh, what is this? I think it's like 7 eighths by 5 eighths or something like that to slide over that. So I just took a sliver of it, banged it on there, welded it so it won't fall off that way. Um, but we can still remove this and then... Uh, in theory, beat the pin out if we needed to replace the heim joint. So I did the same thing on this one over here. So I guess I'm gonna pick one of these and then put it in the appropriate side and start putting all that crap back together. All right, so this is the driver's side I'll put back together. Mount there, gets pinched together between the sheet metal bracket that holds it all together. Uh, this is the strut rod comes up to the front I replaced those bushings a couple weeks back because they were kind of shot and flopping around uh, so now got that all back together so yeah so now that side all right see the light shows it better this is the passenger side got it all bolted together so we're gonna drop it on the floor and see what happens. Uh, driver side. All right, there we go. So post test drive. Uh, I should have checked it first, but um, the toe was like an inch toe in, <laughs> which means I had the lower control arms too short. So if they're too short, this would come in, which would pitch the wheels in on each side so I lengthened each side and then measured pretty much to the center here of the tire to one of those grooves on that tire over there front and back and was able to come up with the toe and then also because the control arms were a little short the tires also cambered out positive I guess is that what that's called so by lengthening that and massaging the bolts up here at the top, I got the wheel straight up and down again. And then um, uh, I was able to kind of get it all barreled back in. So I didn't even have to touch the toe adjustment on the tie rods on either side. And now I'm like 55 and 7 eighths on the front and 55 and 15 sixteenths or so in the back. So it's like zero to a sixteenth of an inch toe in. So that's what we got. So I have material. I may go ahead and add the one inch strips across the bottom and weld the inside and the outside front and back for both sides. Um, I might just do that for insurance sake because I'm not really, I don't know. It looks like it's fine. 
until it's not. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens.